wishbone prophecy. The air was crisp with the scent of fallen leaves and a hint of impending frost. The Morgan family gathered at their ancestral home, a sprawling farmhouse that had seen over a century of Thanksgivings. This year, however, there was an unspoken tension as the family reunited. A collective unease that no amount of warm gravy or pumpkin pie could soothe. David, the eldest son, had found an unusually large turkey for the feast, boasting about it as if the bird were a trophy. The dinner was extravagant. Laughter filled the dining hall, and wine glasses clinked in cheerful toasts. But the joviality was a fragile veneer over the brittle reality of strained relationships and buried family secrets. As the meal wound down, David held aloft the turkey's wishbone, proposing the traditional contest. Whoever gets the bigger piece gets their wish, he declared with a charismatic smile that didn't quite reach his eyes. His younger sister Elise accepted the challenge, her hands trembling slightly as they each took an end of the bone. With a snap, more resolute than thunder, the bone broke, granting Elise the larger piece. A cheer erupted from the family, but Elise felt a cold shiver run down her spine. She closed her eyes to make a wish, but instead of hopes or dreams, a vivid image of fire consuming the farmhouse flashed in her mind, so intense she could feel the heat on her skin. The days that followed were plagued with minor accidents and odd occurrences. The family shrugged them off as bad luck, but Elise couldn't shake the feeling of dread that tightened around her heart like a vice. She began to see things, shadows flitting just out of sight, and reflections that moved on their own accord. But when she spoke of them, her words were dismissed as stress or the wine from dinner. It wasn't until the family barn caught fire one chilly evening that Elise's fears were realized. The blaze was furious, devouring the old timber with a ravenous appetite. They managed to extinguish the flames before they could spread to the house, but the barn was reduced to charred ruins. The image from her vision lingered in Elise's mind, a prophecy foretold. Sleep became elusive for Elise. Nightmares stalked her dreams, each one a different horror. A car crash, a drowning, a fall down the steep cellar stairs. Each morning, she awoke to the news of these tragedies befalling her relatives. The family was unraveling, consumed by grief and inexplicable misfortune. The remaining members of the Morgan family searched for answers delving into old journals and dusty tomes that spoke of the family's lineage and the dark history that trailed behind them like a shadow. They learned of a matriarch who had been accused of witchcraft, of a curse placed upon the family that would last until the bloodline was no more. Elise recalled the wishbone, the snap, that seemed to echo through the very foundations of the house. Had she been the catalyst, the unwitting harbinger of doom? She tried to warn the others, her voice hollow with the weight of impending doom, but they were too caught up in their own despair to listen. As November waned, so too did the family. One by one, they fell victim to the cruel fates Elise had dreamed. With each passing, the house seemed to grow colder, the shadows deeper, and the silence more profound. Elise was alone, the last of the Morgan, the final piece of a morbid puzzle that had started with a simple Thanksgiving tradition. She wandered the empty rooms, her eyes hollow and her mind fractured by the relentless onslaught of her visions. The house seemed alive with the whispers of her ancestors, a cacophony of voices that blamed her, that whispered of the end. On a night when the moon was just a sliver in the sky, Elise took the charred remains of the wishbone and went to the ruins of the barn. 
there she attempted to reverse the curse to plead for forgiveness from whatever spirit she had awoken. But as the wind howled and the night grew unforgiving, a final vision gripped her. The house, her sanctuary, consumed by flames just as the barn had been. Elise's screams were lost to the night as the farmhouse ignited, an inferno of ancient rage and retribution. When the dawn came, the Morgan family home was nothing but ash and embers, and Elise was gone, her fate sealed by the wishbone prophecy. The curse had claimed its last victim, and the Morgan line was no more. The family's end was a tale whispered in hushed tones, a chilling reminder of the power of wishes and the price they demand 